Hey, we're back on the next part of the Biodesign Pool here. We've got the Biodesign team still here. Francis here. Tell them a little bit about what we're doing with this. It's a little bit unusual for having to go this direction. Yeah, well, because as I said before, we are shaping the final shape. The actual final shape of this pool is being done right now. So what we're having to do is to get our sloped walls, we're adding a mix of Portland cement and uh, what is it, limestone screenings? Limestone, yes. Limestone screenings, we're mixing that up and we're actually getting our slopes and our contours for the walls and for all the seats, benches, and what have you through the pool. Uh, so the idea is now is coming through, as you can see in the back here, a little bit more finesse shaping of this pool. Before it was a real rough dig, now you're starting to see what this pool's gonna look like when it's finished. It's amazing how much just a little bit of glass side sand, limestone shavings, and yep. some cement mix can turn this thing into. The pool went from just a rough hole in the ground to building up. You've got the tannin ledge showing almost completely in the back, back there filled in. The walls partially covered. We got the walls coming down at that 42 and a half or less angle. Yep, that's right. That's and then you've got the vertical wall in front of us here, which is a unique part to a biodesign pool, which most of them don't get. Right, on uh, this pool we're actually going to be doing about a 20 foot vertical wall. Um, it's a little bit unique as um, Morgan was saying that this is going to be a, uh, a standalone paneled wall that's going to match the rest of this pool. So yeah, it's not typical, but it can be done. It just goes to show you the versatility, or versatility of biodesign. That's one of the reasons this one's going in here. There were so many features we wanted, it would have taken putting 12 pools in over here to get what one of these provided.